morning, and welcome to Big Time Little Study. This week, our topic is Anzac Day. As you all know, the 25th of April is Anzac Day. So, we're going to be talking a little bit about Anzac Day today, and we're going to talk about specifically the soldiers who fought in the army. So, lots of men from Australia were called to fight in the war. The youngest was 14 years old. That's very young. He didn't know there's no boy to fight in the war, but most of them were 18 years old. And they left their families, some of them left behind their dads to leave their families because they didn't know if they were going to come back home. And they made their way from Australia if you look on the map, you see this island over here, which is where we live, is Australia. And they made their way all the way over here to a different country called Turkey, and specifically Gallipoli. And that's where they fought. So, we might go to the map and find Turkey. And this is where they fought that battle. Those brave, brave soldiers. So we um, have to be very grateful for all that they have done for us. Risking their lives. Some didn't make it back home. And today we still have an army that looks after Australia and defends us if they need to. And they go to other countries to help other countries that need help. So this is... What do you think that is? That is an army helmet. Just that is. That's what I want to show you. So that might be something that they wear. And then we have a vest. So this is a vest that they might wear in the army now. The uniforms back then when the Anzacs were fighting were a little bit different. And this is something that they might have worn when they were trying to camouflage, hide in the bushes, hide in the rocks or the bushes or whatever the, the, ground, the area was made of. They might have used these things to camouflage themselves. Something that the army uses in the war. But back then, the Anzacs didn't have this. This is something that the army of today has, and this is a battleship. So this goes over the terrain, and that is a gun that shoots out, and that protects the army people that are defending our country. And this is an army. So it's a navy. So you have three different kinds of people that defend Australia. You have the army, you have the navy. The navy are people that um, defend the waters of Australia. So they're the navy. And the last one that you have is the air force. They fly the jet planes around and they um, defend us from the sky, and the navy defends us from the ocean, and the army defends us from the land. Back when the Anzacs were fighting, they didn't have the navy or the um, air force. They just had men with their guns, and that was it. 
very hard and very scary. But they did the best they could for us and we are forever grateful. And that is why we celebrate and that day on the 25th of April. Alright guys, we're going to have a little George the Galah drove up in his car. They were all fast asleep near the gums. Isn't that lovely? It's a lovely poem. So look at all the, all the animals that we have in this picture. We have a cockatoo, we have a kangaroo, we have a possum. So there's a cockatoo over there. We have a koala in the picture as well. Over there, a monkey looking for his tea. 
Way through the jungle, what do you see? When you hear a noise, what could it be? Snap! 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 Over there, Pogrel looking for his tea. time today. I hope you learned something new about them that day and the wonderful foliages that helped us and, and defended our country. See you next time friends.